You know, there's a way you can have dolls, but not the same way you might think. Tools needed. We need a large sheet of paper. Make sure it's blank on both sides. A pencil, an eraser, a pen, but this is optional. Scissors, and a whole box of color pencils. Tools needed. We need a large sheet of paper. Make sure it's blank on both sides. A pencil, an eraser, a pen, but this is optional. Scissors, and a whole box of color pencils. One. Grab the paper. Step two. Think about what you need to draw. Step three. Start drawing whatever person or animal you want. For me, I'm going to start by drawing a wolf. however you like and that pleases you. But here, I have an already made wolf. And when you copy its other side, you're just going to copy the other side. And the legs is the most important part. When you draw the legs, don't get mixed up. See, this is a wrong, incorrect way of drawing a wolf's leg. So this is the right hind, the left hind leg, but when you look here, the left hind leg is the same thing. Ah, uh, this is the correct way. See, the foot here, the foot, and the foot here, and the foot here, and the foot here. Here is the second part of when drawing a character. Now, this is when drawing a human, a person, just like you and me and everyone else. See, I've got two people right here, but one of them is incorrect. And you know why? When you copy him, uh, a person's back, like this. Copy the hair and the butt. <coughs> but don't copy the exact same thing on what's on the front. Because you don't want two faces or two bodies or two knees. And then, when you're done, you start coming. Tip. When you make a mistake, just simply erase and draw it again, like this. And then, Draw it again. Step four. Color it. You can color however you want, any color. It doesn't matter if it looks real or unreal. You can color the wolf pink or you can color it blue, anything. Just as long as you make it look beautiful. Make it a proud piece of artwork. I'm just gonna grab a random color brown. Here is an example of an already colored wolf. And see, you can tell that his body is slightly slanted because this wolf is about to prong, pounce on his prey. When you're done coloring, you can start cutting. And as you cut, just cut the outline of the wolf. But right now, I'm just going to cut a really fast cutting. And so if you're done cutting, here's the example of, a, of the neatly cut wolf, but as you can see, this dolphin is neatly cut around like this. That is how you should cut. And But if you make a mistake, I'm sorry, you have to do it all over again. Because if you make a mistake, you can't fix it. And cut carefully, because you don't want to cut a leg off or tail off, it doesn't look like a Wolf. Step six. Why just cut one character when you can make a bunch? In, um, you can just create multiple um, characters and you can make a story or you can make a wonderful city. Here I have all characters of an underwater um, city. And you see here, they're all in different colors and different sizes. Just play around and have fun. You can do anything you want. Well, this one's a buffy cut, but look at all the characters that I have. See, I have like a mermaid, or sharks, and dolphins, That's nice. and 
exotic fishes. That's so colorful. Create something like an edible. You don't have to create fishes. You can create others like girls or dragons or horses or anything else. Now there's a whole new fun way you can create dolls, even though you can't buy one.